this is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP EliteBook 840G3, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on the HP EliteBook 840G3. A couple of words about this model. There's, uh, as of mid-2018, there's uh, G1 through G5. G stands for each generation, so G5 is newer than G1, and they have several different types of screens. Uh, they all have the standard WXGA 1366 by 768 screen, which this one has, and also there's the full HD version, which are interchangeable for the laptop, so you can take out a WXGA screen and put in a full HD screen. And then they have a touch screen. Uh, the touch screen is a different procedure and a different part. So uh, this video is about the WXGA and the Full HD non-touch screen replacement. Okay, next what we want to do is figure out how to identify this laptop with the model number. On the bottom there's some very faint lettering. Um, it's obscured a little bit, but it, it says Elite Book 840. G3. That's where you find the model number on the bottom. It's towards the left hand side right above the Windows Pro uh, sticker there. Okay, next thing we want to make sure is that the laptop is turned off. This power button light is not blinking on and off. It's completely turned off. And the next thing is we're going to go through the tools. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver, a hobby knife or an X-Acto knife, and that's the lift up adhesive tape, a metal spudger tool to pry things open, and a pair of metal tweezers for use for prying also and to manipulate cables inside the laptop. So let's get started. The first order of business is to snap this screen bezel off, the plastic frame around the screen. Uh, there's no screws around it and it should be easy but it's a little bit more difficult than most laptops just because of the copious amount of adhesive used in this. So I've already taken it off once before so it'll be a little bit easier for you, for me, but to make it a little bit easier what I would do is I'd take a hair dryer or blow dryer and just warm up the bezel around a little bit. Just run the blow dryer over it for a few minutes. That'll soften up the adhesive and it'll be easier to remove the bezel. So to lift up and remove the bezel, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and start lifting up and up. You will hear the adhesive sounds and you also hear the snapping sounds. So that's what you do and you go around the bezel. And for me it's taking not that much time because I did this once before, but first time it will take more time. Just take your time just removing the adhesive like so. So we go all the way around and what sometimes happens is that the tape from the screen itself gets gets attached, you can kind of see it gets attached to the bezel. So you want to keep the black tape on the screen instead of on the bezel. So that makes things a lot easier. And what we want to do is put this tape adhere back onto the screen. Since your screen will most likely be broken, it's not going to matter as much. So next, what we want to do is separate the screen from the screen assembly, and that involves removing four screws, two at the top here and two at the bottom. This one's obscured by the tape a little bit. So. When we do this, we remove the screws, we want to have the screen assembly tilted back a little bit and that will ensure that the screen doesn't fall forward when all the screws are removed. So that's two screws, three, and four. Once we do that, we grab the screen by the metal tab and lay it down on top of the keyboard. So we want to give ourselves a little bit of room to work with so that the cable, we move the cable out a little bit like so, so that we have room to work with. 
and then all we have to do is we're going to remove this adhesive tape. And we, what we're doing with here is we're using the hobby knife, exact enough to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape. And then when we have enough lifted up, we just use our fingertip to lift it up. And then pull it back. Okay, so next, once we do that, we grab the adhesive tape and we pull it back like so and the screen is released that wasn't that hard all right this particular screen is a wxga resolution but like i said um, there's also a version of this laptop that comes with a full hd resolution and for this particular version it's a matte screen finish as compared to a glossy screen finish so if you're particular about the screen finish you want to make sure that you specify which one when you're ordering the part number for this particular screen is N140HGE-EA1. So the part that you will receive, part number that you will receive will most likely have a different part number, but the resolution and the finish should be the same and the mounting tab should be in the same place. So when ordering your screen, make sure you know what the resolution of the screen is. Uh, one way is to find out is go to inside the setting of Windows and it'll tell you the maximum resolution. Another way, if you still have the box from the laptop, it will have the resolution on the label. And a third one, third way is to um, read off is to write down the part number and contact us with the part number and we'll let you know what the resolution of the screen that you have in. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen for sale. Uh, what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I'm using in this video it comes for free with the screen. Uh, we have a compatibility guarantee so if we ship, we will ship you the right screen or we'll send you a replacement. We have a two-year warranty, free email, and free email technical support. To order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and that will guide you to buy the right screen online. Also, we ship to most countries around the world. Just select your country when going to check out. And finally, uh, there's many school districts and schools that utilize this laptop and we have special programs with school where we offer bulk volume discounts and accept purchase orders. There's a tab on the top of our website that says schools that will guide you through the process there. Okay, that's it. So once you do get your new screen in, reconnect the connector. Uh, when you reconnect the connector, uh, you'll slide it in and you will feel but not hear two clicks and this is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So once that is reconnected, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the bezel back on and that should do it. Okay, and that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.